All right, time now to get another check of our 11 Alive weather impact forecast. All right, so let's get you back over to Chris now. Chris, what are we looking ahead to? We've got a little bit of rain out there. It was, it was a pretty quiet weather day today with mainly dry weather conditions, but now in the evening hours, we are watching a few showers. Not everybody's getting hit. We're just talking about some of these scattered showers out there. We have some in North Georgia up in Gilmer County, some near Rome, and then additional showers here on the south side. This one moving in here on the southwest side of the perimeter, just some moderate to heavy rain with that. We don't have any lightning with this particular one, but down into Noonan, we are getting lightning that just crossed over 85. This is about to move into the southern parts of Fayette County, also stretching down into Merriweather. Some of that will make it over towards Spalding County and also into Pike County. Then on the north side, a lot more lightning with this one here throughout parts of Gilmer County. This is a really heavy shower there on the western part of that coming out of Murray County. That will make it into Fannin County as well. We've got a good bit of lightning with that as well as this one coming out of these areas of Tatuga County, moving into to Floyd County right now. They're not classified as severe, but uh, some heavy rain with that. And again, that thunder and lightning. So you may be seeing those flashes of lightning or hearing those rumbles of thunder as you're trying to get to bed. This is our live view in Coldwell Banker camera there in Blue Ridge. And I know this is dark, but we have been seeing some lightning there in the distance uh, at, near the Blue Ridge area with those storms that are over into parts of Gilmer County. Here's the latest we have right now on tropical depression number four. This is a brand new tropical depression. Earlier, it was a potential tropical system. Now with the 11 o'clock advisory, it is officially a tropical depression pretty much right along the southern coast of Cuba. It's going to cross over Cuba, move into the Gulf of Mexico, and when it does through the weekend, we expect it to become a tropical storm. The next name on the list is Debbie. Then by Sunday evening, you can see the storm still out in the uh, Gulf of Mexico here, late Sunday into early Monday, most likely moving in along this Big Bend region. Now just know the models are going to be varying a little bit. Sometimes it may shift it west or it may shift it east, and depending on where the system goes, it's really going to determine what type of weather we have. If it stays on this track, and the track stays to the east of us, the impacts would mainly be in parts of southeast Georgia and on the Georgia coast. We would be on the drier side of that system. So you can see what we're watching with the moisture map. We're going to see over the weekend a low risk for some showers, but there's all that moisture with a tropical system moving through. We'll be on the dry side just as long as it keeps that track over to the east of us. So here's the seven day forecast showing for the weekend, not as hot. We're going to be at about 91 Saturday, 92 Sunday with a 30% chance for showers. Low rain chances Monday too. And again, depending on the track of that system, if we stay on the good side of it will be dry but hot for the rest of the week.